All right, so in the last demo, we took this uh, PowerCLI uh, script and we turned it into a workflow as follows. And we, uh, instead of uh, visualizing the data that came out on the other side, we pushed it into Perfmon and, and looked at it that way. We're doing something similar in this demo. We're going to take that same exact script and we'll make a brand new workflow, copying and pasting that script. But instead of going to Perfmon, let's we'll delete that activity. We're going to go to WMI. So let's drop over to WMI. We pull out three parameters here, class name, namespace, and primary key. We'll use the same class name we used for perfmon, ESX memory usage. And for namespace, we'll use root slash temp. And for primary key, we'll use name, just like we did before. So again, just like we did for perfmon, we're going to deploy this to an agent. And we'll have it run every five seconds. So we hit the deploy to agent button, and choose five seconds as our schedule timer. We say OK. So we can see over here in the monitor that that workflow started up. It is running right now. Hopefully that will complete, and it did. So now we should be able to make a WMI query, and we, we sure can. And see that that data, the, the same data we saw in PerfMod, but now we can see it in WMI. So that's pretty cool. Uh, additionally, I've taken a uh, power gadget and plug that into the same exact thing. So let's go ahead and open up uh, vSphere and make the memory do something interesting. So let's take one of my machines and suspend it. And then uh, within uh, five or 10 seconds of suspending this machine, we sh should see some memory free up. Still suspending. Making numbers move around in, in, in uh, ESX can sometimes be a little slow, but I thought you'd appreciate this demo more than, say, uh, just looking at file local file system numbers. So now we've, uh, now we've done that, we should start seeing the memory usage percentage go down. And you see over here in the digital readout, went down to 50 automatically. And if we do another query, we should see, sure enough, that percentage goes down to 50. So, so there you go. We have a PowerCLI script turned into a workflow, and the output of that script is being pushed into WMI, and this workflow was deployed to the local agent. It's run automatically uh, every five seconds, but obviously you can change that schedule to daily, weekly, monthly. We'll keep it on the timer. It's being run. We can go back and query that data. Uh, any way that you can query it in WMI uh, and display it visually using any one of the WMI visualization tools. Um, so there you go. From PowerCLI to WMI using PowerWF and the agent. Thanks so much for watching the video. Thanks for uh, your feedback and uh, keep them coming.